Hi, my name is Emmy Arana, and I attended Corbin between the years of 2014 and 2015 for my master's program. So about six or seven years ago, God just gave me this vision of um, pairing herding teens with horses because that was impactful for me. When I was a teenager going through our trauma, I had horses. So a lot of times it would be me, my horse, and God out in the field. <laughs> Sometimes it was at 11 at night with no saddle and whatever I just needed at the time. The depression and suicide rates and mental health of our kids are, is skyrocketing. And so that's always been something I've paid attention to and watched and my heart has been heavy for and in prayer of like, God, how, what can we do? Like, what's not working? What can work? And, you know, my thesis at Corbin too, of just like relationships was impactful. And um, so I just kept wrestling and praying with this and I, I told myself, okay, I'm going to bring this to God every day, this, this idea. And he gave me the name Acres of Hope um, from the book of Hosea. And he says, I will lead her out of Heartbreak Valley into Acres of Hope. So when kids come here, they have the consistent mentor every week, but then we also get to have the horses as kind of like this buffer. And so kids will come here and they'll just brush a horse for 30 minutes in the same exact circle. And these horses are wonderful. <laughs> uh, and just talk because then maybe they don't have to make eye contact or they have something else to focus on or have something for their hands to do. And it really just provides an environment where they feel safe to talk. And um, they really do open up we offer them this this ability to just tell us exactly honestly where they're at and they don't they don't face judgment they don't face shame they don't like they just truly get to talk about exactly where they're at and just feel so loved and accepted and through that connection our youth are actually able to see and feel God's love like it's not something that we have to necessarily even put into words if I can think of one of the most impactful times with one of our youth that struggles with her faith uh, and where she's at and how she feels. Uh, one of the times she was here she had a panic attack and we just we had a horse and we were just grooming him and our grooming her and we walked into the arena and just sat in chairs with this horse and this horse just took care of her and to watch this horse just put her head in this girl's lap and then rest her muzzle right on the top of her head like as gently as she could and, you know, we didn't talk about it then in that day, but several sessions later, we're talking about God and wrestling with these things. And I said, you know, when Kimber was in that arena with you and she put her head in your lap, I told her, I said, I think that's about as close as God could tangibly get to you to tell you he loves you. And like their wheels just turned. He provided this place and we got to start inviting kids here and watching him transform their hearts, watching him show them love in a different way that they've never experienced. The horses are just, we always say horses are a mirror to your soul. And so it's pretty magical to watch God use a horse.